This story appears in the August 2022 issue of Forbes Asia. Subscribe to Forbes Asia This story is part of Forbes coverage of Philippines Richest 2022. See the full list here. The Philippines economy grew 8.3% in the first quarter of 2022, as domestic demand started recovering from pandemic headwinds. Newly elected President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr., son of the former dictator, who was ousted in 1986, pledged to keep up the growth momentum. Nonetheless the pressures of inflation, rising commodity and energy prices as well as reduced exports to China dragged the benchmark stock index down 6% from 11 months ago when fortunes were last measured. The peso also plunged 12% over the same period. As a result, the combined wealth of the country's 50 richest dropped to $72 billion from $79 billion last year. More than two-thirds of the least he saw their wealth shrink. The Sai siblings, heirs to the group built by the late Henry Sai Sr., retained the top spot but their net worth fell by $4 billion to $12.6 billion which was the biggest drop in dollar terms. Shares in the family's flagship, SM Investments, slipped 19% from last year as investors turned skittish. Overcoming the odds, property billionaire Manuel Villar listed his Vista right in June and is this year's biggest dollar gainer. Villar, who's revving up the development of high-rise condos, townships and a casino, added $1. 1 billion and retained the number 2 spot with a fortune of $7.8 billion. Ports tycoon Enrique Raisin Jr. remained at number 3 though his net worth was down slightly to $5.6 billion. Raisin is doubling down on casinos and renewable energy with plans to build the world's largest solar farm in the archipelago for $3 billion. Another notable drop in wealth was that of husband and wife Dennis Anthony and Maria Grace Wee, co-founders of Converge ICT Solutions, 